Madrid or Toledo, they will open up friendly, warm people. It didn't feel like we had a guide with us. It just felt like we had come to Spain and picked up our friend. A lot of things are gonna be very touristy that you read online. So having a guide is great because if you hear, I always hear of things that I want to check out and I'm kind of disappointed after. It's a question of being with locals. And if you are just visiting, you probably will miss a lot. For example, this kind of experiences, which are not in any books. I feel like the hospitality in Madrid is very welcoming. You feel like you're at home. People have more of an open dialogue here and they welcome you right into the city. We like living and living means for us going out food for us is quite important looking forward to some great tapas what is life food friends wine what more do you want i do like the idea with tapas it's so good it's incredible so amazing i love it i honestly don't want to leave the streets are beautiful people are so friendly the food is great Mine is great. Like, I legit don't want to leave. So you have uh, hundreds of options in many gene bars. So you have the specific gene bars in Madrid and even gene tastings. They make the best gin and tonics here. And it's not just gin and tonic and ice. They make all sorts of different variations. It's delicious. You cannot get a gin and tonic like this at all, by no means. Not even close. This is Javier, this is Toledo local guide, and now we are in in front of the old town of Toledo, in one of the most famous places in town to eat churros with chocolate, especially during winter. Today is Tuesday, so a lot of people around because of the market, and here we have all the chocolate and churros in this typical location. I think Toledo is definitely underrated. It's a beautiful city. It's kept in by a wall. I loved the architecture there. It's quite incredible how they live there. It's almost something out of a movie. The tiny streets, you know, the laundry hanging, the terraces, the walls are so close together. Well, I'm just looking to try the local wines, some cava and some from the, I believe it's the Rioja area. Visiting a winery here was quite interesting. It's very different from visiting one in North America. It's like a small family and um, it makes such a difference. Salvador Dali. It was quite amazing to see his museum and kind of, you know, take a moment to go into his brain and what that looked like, which is just, you know, there's nothing out there like that. We went down to the beach, which was amazing. You know, I met so many new people, new friends, and that I would consider family now. So it's great that you can be arranged. They have the connections. I would definitely say it's worth the investment. Any expectation that I've had, it's been exceeded. Gaudi, his work, I mean, that speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. La Sagrada Familia. It's so amazing, you know, that people now who didn't even know him are taking the time to build out his dream. Wow, it's amazing. Just the dedication that Gaudi must have had to spend so much of his time designing this and to be thinking so far ahead of the times, you can tell he really was a master of architecture. I can't see myself going with another tour company. The people stood out the most in my mind, and just how friendly they were, and yeah, I'll definitely come back for that.